Hi, I'm Danny Wind. I work for a Delphi company in the Netherlands. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get your Android app from Delphi XC5 onto your device. So, it's just take a couple of steps to uh, enable debugging and things like that. So, what you actually have to do is, well, you install Delphi XC5, you install the debug USB driver, you enable developer mode, and we're up and running. And that's about it. So, it's not that hard as you can see. I'll uh, detail each uh, step in the demo. Uh, first, I'm going to start the setup. And in the setup, there are some number of options that you need to be aware of. Uh, one of them is selecting the Android SDK and NDK. It's pre-selected, so that should work out fine. But don't forget to select the uh, I accept license agreement, otherwise it won't be installed either way. Okay, next. In the uh, setup itself, I'm going to accelerate it here. Just gonna start Red Studio XC5. Um, in our XC5, you'll see the Android Debug IDE being loaded. So that's just to indicate that Android is added in the Delphi XC5 environment. When you start up the Delphi for the first time, you'll see some demos. They're actually quite useful. Uh, they'll show you how to do mobile development and build cool stuff. Well, for this demo, I'm using uh, Nexus 7. Uh, Nexus 7 is quite nice for development because it has uh, firmwares and things like that available from Google itself. I'm going to enable developer mode by clicking on about tablet and then clicking on build number seven or eight times. So it's uh, settings, you go to about tablet and build number, you click that seven times and we're a developer. It's hidden since Android 4.2 so you used to have a simple option you could just switch on, now it's hidden on the build number. And under options for developers, I'm going to have to enable it here because I disabled it earlier. And it's enabled. Allow development, yeah, of course, we're developers, so that's... And we're going to enable USB debugging. Allow USB debugging, yeah, we want to allow USB debugging. And we're off. So device is now enabled for development and for USB debugging. The next uh, step we're going to take is installing the USB debug driver. Delphi actually installed the SDK and NDK for us and it's under documents, uh, Red Studio 12, platform SDKs, and there's the SDK and NDK. And under the SDK it's under tools and under tools you've got an android.bat uh, which will start up the Android SDK manager and it'll allow you to download the Google USB driver. Well, the SDK manager can be used to update all kinds of things, so we don't want to do that now. We just want to deselect all because we just want the USB driver. And the Google USB driver, enable it, and then install packages. Okay, accept the license and install it. Here we go. It's done. Okay, the USB driver itself is now installed under Extras. So it's here under Google and there's USB driver. If you've got another device like a Sony or something like that, you'll have to download the USB debug driver from their website. I'm going to connect the uh, Nexus 7 now. It's connected as a MTP device with USB debugging. And you'll see the driver being installed here. It's actually just going to install the basic driver by default. So you manually have to install the Android debug device driver. The basic driver just allows you to look at the internal storage. So I'm going to use device manager. And you'll see other devices here and the portable devices there. The portable device is the MTP device driver. The other devices we're going to use to update the driver software for ADB debugging. So it's actually a two-layer device. You've got a composite USB, USB interface, uh, one for ADB debugging and the other one for file access. And the driver was hidden in Red Studio 12. Platform SDKs, SDK, Extras, Google, and there it is. Android Win USB. Okay. And it's installing the Android Composite ADB interface. ADB uh, stands for Android Debugger. So, okay. 
I've, I've done it right. I've got two devices now, an Android device with an ADB interface and a portable device that will just allow you to open files. Okay, that works. At this moment the IDE actually already detects your device, um, but to allow USB debugging you have to uh, allow the fingerprint. So allow the fingerprint always from this computer, so you can actually USB debug from this computer. It's an extra security feature to not automatically enable USB debugging on every computer you connect your Nexus to. I'm going to start a new mobile application, it's a blank application. And I'm going to check if the Nexus is there on the target. And it's there already. If it's not, just refresh and it will show up. I've got a Google Nexus 7, so I'm going to change the GUI, change layout and add a label. And a simple label using ID Insight. The new ID Insight, by the way, so it's no longer a dialogue, it's just in the upper right corner. And in text it's Delphi XE5 and we're actually on Android and we're up and running. Okay, I'm just going to add a calendar edit, uh, which is a native control. It will show up like a calendar on iOS and like a calendar on Android as well, uh, as a native calendar. So we're running on the device. It's that easy. So the calendar looks like this on Android which is basically a native calendar. We're done! That's cool. Okay, that was Delphi XC5 Android up and running. I hope it helped you get up and running and perhaps we'll meet again. See you later. Goodbye!